1989, an Air Ontario flight crashed due to ice buildup on its wings. So how can a lotus leaf and a desert beetle help us avoid crashes like this in the future? I'm going to talk to you today about how we can use inspiration from nature to engineer new materials that can control water in fantastic ways. Water is all around us. It interacts with materials in many different ways. And two great examples of this are the lotus leaf and the desert beetle. Now, the surface of a lotus leaf may look smooth, but it's actually covered in millions of tiny hair-like structures. Because of this, water that hits its surface will bead up and roll off. It's the golden standard of water repellent material. On the other hand, the desert beetle actually attracts water. It has areas of its body with tiny bumps which collect moisture from the morning fog. Both of these work with surface patterning. Now you may be thinking, why don't we just make a plain wing like a lotus leaf, repel water? Good idea? Actually, maybe not. As the saying goes, what goes up must come down. So something that would hit the surface will eventually return to the surface and possibly freeze. Better idea? Remove the droplet altogether. We could get it bounce in a certain direction or break up into smaller droplets. My research is interested in the fundamental physics of surface patterning and how we can use it to control water in specific ways. Using precise fabrication methods, similar to use to make computer chips, we can make surfaces with tiny pillars no thicker than a human hair. Aided with modern high-speed cameras, we can record droplets hitting surfaces and work out what do we need for a smart surface. For example, if we make the, the pillars really tall and close together, we can get a droplet to bounce. If we make them really short and far apart, it will completely break up. Now, the really interesting work is at the frontier of our experiments. We have found methods to create fingers in spreading droplets, as seen in these pictures. Now, the future holds an unknown number of discoveries. Nature has spent millions of years perfecting answers to questions we're only beginning to ask. So why, why start from scratch? Let's copy nature's homework. I'm Matthew Broom. Thank you for listening.